Uh, we first became involved in Eurocode developments going back over 10 years ago now. And, uh, and then through the last 10 years, obviously, our, our knowledge has developed considerably through being very active in BSI committees and SEND committees and supporting our clients in the de their development of their implementation strategies. And, uh, and we've worked very, very closely with a lot of the leading uh, infrastructure clients to support them during the transition. Uh, internally, what have we done? Uh, we've been briefing and training our staff, which we started going back four, at least four years ago now, uh, initially with a program of, of awareness training and then more recently detailed technical training. Uh, in addition to that, we've put in place new processes to support um, our teams undertaking Eurocode designs. Uh, we obviously have a core of Eurocode experts and one of the things that we're looking to maximize is is, is the opportunity for that expertise to be useful to all our clients across all of the projects that we work on. So, as I said, we've put in place um, processes to make sure that, um, uh, that there's a strong dialogue and support and review being undertaken of, um, uh, of each step of a, of a Eurocode design project um, uh, and for that dialogue to happen between the teams that are engaged on that scheme and, and, our, and our core team of experts. Um, and I guess in addition to that, uh, we've put some new software tools in place. We're looking really, I think that, that one of the things that I see um, is that when you have a big change like this, it gives you a bit of an opportunity. And it's a bit of opportunity to, to put in place some better knowledge management systems, some better use of IT, some better use of technology, some, some opportunities for broader training. Um, and, uh, and that's certainly something which we've sought to capitalize on.